This is the Traveller's Tales project. So we are working with the National Maritime Museum in a pop-up museum in the Lewisham Shopping Centre. And we are creating loads of different um, arts activities to engage the local community with George Stubbs's paintings of a kangaroo and a verdingo and with the idea of exploration and discovery. We're here to try and source artwork that responds to the art of George Stubbs. He'd been commissioned by Joseph Banks to try and recreate a dingo and a kangaroo and these became the dominant images, how people in Europe understood these creatures for hundreds of years. But it was a hard task. He'd never seen a dingo. He had never seen a kangaroo. We have been getting people to draw pictures based on uh, descriptions of animals that they've never seen before. We've been taking excerpts from Joseph Banks' diaries and getting people to make poems out of the words there. From Banks' journal, people have created poems by, by cutting out and manipulating sections and we have uh, recorded various people and, and mashed them together so that they have a, a little line each. Cropped closer with the first daylight. The show where it's like sunlight. Their eyes we had given. Ornament appearance. Cloudy and subtle. Which they gave to us in return. I've only re like received positive feedback or wow, this is really interesting and I'm really glad to have that. Every single response, for the most part, has just been like, this is such a nice thing that is in this mall that brings the community together. I've made a poem about animals, about flying fish, birds, and I have did loads of drawing. I've been here 10 times. The thing that surprised me most is just how willing people are to have a go at these things. We, we are not asking them easy questions, we're not giving them easy tasks. All of them involve a certain amount of creativity and playing with the sort of facts. Our ambition as Crack Let's Arts with this is to explore the theme of exploration, to try and see the world anew. Everything was new at one point. We're all explorers, we're all discovering something new every single day. So one thing that happens is that people um, create artwork that's inspired by the paintings and they put it on the wall of the pop-up museum. And what we did is we then fleshed them out. We have created uh, kangaroos which have the outline that was drawn by a member of the community. And we've put real kangaroo fur on there, just like George Stubbs had to do when he got the pelt of a kangaroo and had to try and figure out how it worked. Crack Light Arts is a collective of artists who work in different art forms. So sometimes we work with theatre, sometimes we work with digital art, sometimes we work in film. Um, and what this project is doing is giving us a chance to mesh all of that stuff together and play with not just the separate strands of our practice, but also how they can interconnect. One of the things that Crack Light Arts hopes to accomplish in this residency is that we are hoping to try and generate a augmented reality uh, some kind of gallery that we can superimpose upon the Queen's house so people can go and see the art by Stubbs, by great artists of the past but also see their contributions, their interpretations of kangaroos and dingoes and the wonderful wildlife Australia in that place. We want to create an invisible community art space that is layered on top of the beautiful art space that is in the National Maritime Museum.